Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a, at a trade paperback, uh, which is unusual for my channel, as I usually look at omnibuses or Marvel Masterworks, maybe the odd hardcover here and there. Uh, but I got this trade paperback of the DC character Vigilante, because I, I really like this character and I remember him from the 80s. And unfortunately, if you want to get the stories, you've only got one choice. Get this trade paperback or search out the uh, individual issues. And as far as I know, they have not released this compilation in anything other than a trade paperback. Uh, now, uh, Vigilante was created by Marv Wolfman, who also created New Teen Titans. Uh, he had uh, art work from uh, Keith per Keith Pollard, George Perez, Chuck Patton, Ross Andrew, and Don Newton. So a lot of famous comic artists helped him uh, bring Vigilante to life. Vigilante is actually not a new DC character. He is the second incarnation of the DC character Vigilante. Uh, the first one was... Silver Age, maybe even Gold Age, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not 100%, maybe one, some of you can correct me, but uh, the original Vigilante was a, a cowboy character, a western character. Uh, had a red face mask, a white hat, and a blue shirt, if I remember. So there is red, white, and blue in his costume, as you can tell, so I think maybe they did that in homage to the original character. So this is number this is Vigilante incarnation number 2. I think there's been some more in the years past, but honestly, I don't know anything about them. I I haven't kept up with with comics uh a lot of the modern comics. This was from the 80s and it was very much a response to the 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 crime that was taking place in the 80s. And I hate to say it, but I think it's true. It's DC's answer to the Punisher. Very similar, and similar in fact that I'm kind of surprised Marvel didn't take any legal action. Uh, but it's okay. Uh, he looks cool. Uh, he addresses vigilanteism in a slightly different way than the Punisher. Uh, origins a little more mystical, so he he is different. He's not quite the same. But anyway, this is volume one. As far as I know, they have not released any further volumes. Uh, this is a thirty dollar price tag. Uh, maybe you can find it cheaper. Uh, that, that's cover price. It contains uh, the New Teen Titans, um, excuse me, it contains New Teen Titans Annual Number 2 and Vigilante Issues Number 1 through 11. And we open it up, yeah, the Vigilante, Vigilante's got his own motorcycle with rockets on it. I like this splash page here. Like I say, a lot of famous artists contributed to this. There he is again. Uh, these issues all took place between 1983 and the end of uh, 1984. So basically uh, 1983 is, is where this all was, took place. Uh, we got an introduction by Marv Wolfman uh, from 2016. Uh, this first issue here, this annual number two of the New Teen Titans, I remember getting this issue. Uh, this is the very first appearance of the Vigilante. And uh, so it act, so his first issue is actually not his first appearance. Uh, so if you're interested in Vigilante, they were kind enough to to put this issue in. I, I remember when I heard this was coming out, I was hoping they would do that, and they have. So uh, it's it's a good story. You know, uh, 
got some super villains trying to actually kill uh, the Teen Titans. And uh, they get essentially rescued by there he is vigilante and the vigilante is well spoiler spoiler alert but this comic is from the 80s so if you if you're any way or unaware of it uh, I'm sorry but uh, this is an old comic Adrian Chase uh, who was a judge and his family got killed, and he he became the vigilante, and he uh, he saves the Teen Titans. Here's his very first issue. As you can tell, this is the cover of the trade paperback. Uh, I remember having this one as well. In fact, I had all these issues. I I had the complete run of Vigilante. I I remember it. Lasting, lasting till I think issue fifty, and I had all of them. Uh, the storytelling got to me; it kind of went downhill as time progressed. I don't. I had always hoped it would get better. Maybe, maybe somebody out there likes it, but uh, to me, this is the best collection out there because. Honestly, I, I do think the new Teen Titans annual and issues 1 through 11 were the best issues that were produced of the Vigilante. If they were to come out with a volume 2, I, I probably would not get it because I, I really only like these first 11 issues. Very much like the, the, the Punisher, um, uh, he's got his own van, he's got a couple of helpers that help him in his... Uh, in his fight against crime. I really like his costume. For those that maybe don't know, he actually appeared in some issue, not issues, episodes of uh, uh, Arrow on the CW. Uh, he, he was a recurring character. I don't remember what season. I haven't watched that show in a while. So don't uh don't hold me to any any knowledge of facts but uh he I I did see a few episodes where Vigilante showed up and his costume didn't look quite like this but you could tell that they did take this costume as an inspiration for what they use in the TV show and you can definitely tell yeah that's Vigilante so it's really cool uh I had this issue, well, I said I had all of them. Uh, this issue dealt with, uh, well, the, the, the problem of vigilantism, where how far do you take it? Um, how do you know if you're right? What, what if you happen to take action against maybe an innocent person? Maybe they're not a good person, but maybe they didn't do uh, what you're after them for. So it... It dealt with topics like that, which the Punisher really didn't. The Punisher's out to get bad guys, and, and he doesn't care. Uh, this issue had Cyborg from the New Teen Titans in it, so he got to go after Cyborg, and uh, they, they, they get to fight it out. Um, the paper stock is good. It's, it feels a little course like a, like a comic but it's not newsprint like a comic is i would say if you're familiar with trade paperbacks it, it's something you're already used to so you're you're not gonna you're not gonna dislike it um well, it's more the teen titans show up uh fights another super villain the exterminator and like I say, the, these were good stories because you kind of had this dichotomy of a man whose profession is to judge others for a living. And uh, he takes it upon himself to judge others as a crime fighter and go after those who have escaped the law. And that is that was always very interesting to me is because is, is there, there's, that, there's that clash there. 
you know, I'm supposed to uphold the law and, and judge, yet I'm going out in my off hours and fighting crime against those that I, I think got away with it. So uh, very, very interesting. Um, I like these two guys here that he fought. Uh, I can't remember what they're, they, they were assassins for the mob, and I can't remember what their, what their names are. Anyway, this was kind of ahead of its time in that you had two deadly assassins. And uh, they, they, were, uh, they were gay. Uh, you, you, and you didn't really have much LGBT uh, characters back then. It really wasn't something that was done. So uh, it, it was... I remember as a kid, I thought, well, that's that's interesting. You know, it, it, interesting take on a couple villains. It didn't bother me at all. I was just like, that's that's different. Um, and, and honestly, it was kind of cool because it, it made them stand out in, uh, in a different way than just a normal pair of supervillains. Um, this is the origin issue of Vigilante. And, I'm sorry, this one is. Here it is, the origin. And, uh, yeah, here are the two assassins. And like I say, they weren't to be trifled with. They were very deadly. But this tells, this tells the story of, uh, of the assassin, uh, excuse me, of the origin of uh, Adrian Chase and how he became vigilante. It's uh, mystical in in its tale, so don't go in there expecting something like, you know, the Punisher, where he was a highly trained military man, and uh, and uh, you know used his skills to fight crime and uh, kill bad guys. No, he his his training was it was a mystical origin. Let's just put it at that. Uh, here's the electrocutioner. And I think he's been around in uh, other comics. I always like that, uh, you know, the Punisher, I mean, excuse the Punisher, see, I am I am exchanging names with getting confused. The Vigilante uh, was not undefeatable because he had no superpowers. It was just training and skill, and he was uh, subject to... Um, to getting defeated like any other, uh, any other person, but uh, he was just very good at what he did, so he could use his skills and fight the bad guys. Uh, he would not cooperate with police because he's he's in the role of superhero, and he doesn't. And as a vigilante, also he doesn't uh, deal with that. Um, he, he, he won't, uh, kill police, uh, he's very much on the side of law enforcement, but law enforcement doesn't like him because he's a vigilante, he, he does kill bad guys, so he has crossed that line of being a superhero, I guess I'm wrong, he's not really a superhero, uh, in, in the same vein of the Punisher, is not really a superhero, because they're not they're not heroic in uh, killing bad guys. That that's that's being a vigilante. Um, this, for me, issue here is when things started to take a little bit of downward slide. He has his partner JJ, which you could say would be kind of like his version of Microchip from The Punisher. Um, I don't know. Once he got on his own. And had to do things without assistance from uh, the couple that was helping him, the the man and the woman that was helping him. 
uh, it kind of started going downhill. I, I liked him the way he was. This was a good issue. Like I said, all these are good issues. This is number 11. But I, I would not collect anything beyond this because I think after this little storyline was wrapped up after this issue, it, it just went downhill. I, I really didn't like it. Um, I didn't like how they ended the series. I didn't like what it became. They, they, it, 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 it really changed. Um, but as far as this book goes, it's very good. Like I would say if you're a fan of the Punisher, here, I like that splash page. If you're a fan of the Punisher, you will be a fan of Vigilante. There really aren't any extras on here. That's it. Just that uh, little pinup right there. So there you have it. Uh, Vigilante. Um, definitely try it if you're a Punisher fan, as I said. Uh, I enjoyed these issues. I would not collect a volume two. But I'm happy to have this in my collection. And uh, if, if you can find it uh, cheaply and you haven't read it, give it a chance. I think you'll enjoy it more than you might think. I, I know people probably look at this as indeed a Punisher clone, which is, is not unreasonable. But I think DC did a good job. Marv Wolfman is a good writer. And he lend his talents to this character and uh, made, made it interesting. It's a very readable stories, very interesting stories. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, just please leave them down below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.